Hello everybody, welcome along to Sport Like It Is. We're doing a transfer deadline day special today. Ben is alongside us, his avatar. I've got it all figured out though with Ben's story in football. Because he posted something the other day saying that he's an Arsenal supporter. Troubled Arsenal supporter. And if you're an Arsenal supporter, why would you like football? Your team loses the whole time. Coming from a what supporter? Out. West Ham supporter. No. Got <laughs> plenty of new shirts, plenty of new names on the back of shirts. Any surprises? I think there were a lot of surprises as far as, you know, the last minute signings were concerned. The guys that moved, I don't think many people saw Raul Morelis coming. I don't think many people saw Mikel Arteta coming. I think he was on and off and there and he was going here and then there and then wasn't and all that sort of stuff. And then it eventually went through. So I think a lot of last minute signings that people weren't expecting to see. Raul Morelis, I think, is second best because obviously Chelsea bid £40 million for uh, Luka Modric from Spurs. I still can't believe they turned that down, though. £40 million pounds Daniel for Levy clearly wants the cash and he clearly wants to move forward. But at the end of the day, I must admit that the player must have had some say in what went on there and he was just shut down yeah absolutely but i mean for that sort of cash you think they would have said you know what he's a great player and we'd like to have him in the squad but honestly let's cut our losses with him take what we can get and then move on and maybe january we can stock up again fulham have made a shoot by brian Rees from fc20 they won the league under steve mclaren and he scored 36 goals in 60 odd appearances for them tall striker number 10 long slick back hair costa rican looks the part looks elegant what did you make of that signing? Look, we don't know much about him. We haven't really seen him in action, so not 100% sure how he's going to fare. And there's always the question with foreign-based players, how are they going to fare in the Premier League? It's a physical league, it's a tough league, and a lot of the guys who come from South America and Spain and Italy and those sort of countries struggle a little bit. So I'm interested to see what he's going to do, but he does come with a very good pedigree. He's got a good reputation, and Martin Yol, he said he respected him when he did his work at Ajax, which obviously bodes well for them. Fulham, going forward, probably now looking safe. They've got enough quality in that side. That's a story for another day. This is a transfer window that we'll remember for a lot of late deals, but no marquee signing. And I believe that that's a sign that the financial downturn or the economic downturn has actually started to impact on the Premier League. What do you think there? Yeah, I think if you look at the number of players that were signed, there were a lot of transfers done and for not a lot of money. Obviously, we're taking... And wage bills, of course, slashed. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of players going out on loan, which does have a good impact on that. But if you look at the guys that were actually signed, I mean, aside from Sergio Aguero, who, in fairness, was Nasri. done in this transfer window, Nasri as well, um, last-minute signings, nothing huge. You know, a couple of very good buys. You look at Peter Crouch, £10 million. Pounds, it's a steal for him. And they've just smashed their, their, their club transfer transfer record of that on him, yeah. You look at uh, Arteta, 10 million pounds as well, I think that's a good buy. And a lot of the guys went for that sort of cash, 6 to 10 million pounds. And, and that's smart buyers as far as I'm concerned. You're not going out and you're not spending 40 million pounds on a single player who hopefully is then going to change your fortunes. I still think Arsenal are, are lacking a holding midfield player. They've got Abu Dhabi and they've got Alex Song and they've got this Emmanuel Frimpong guy who's spoken of very highly. Now they've signed Per Matasaka, who is a German international, he played for Werder Bremen before this, 26 years old, tall, quite gangly, lots and lots of promise in terms of the way he shepherds and marshals the back four, but not much pace. Mind you, Arsenal aren't really lacking too much pace. But has Arsene Wenger gotten to the stage where he's admitting that this previous blueprint of we're a perpetual side in progress, work in progress, has he now decided to sign a couple of guys in their late 20s and is he admitting that maybe there was something wrong with that blueprint? I think he's got a wake-up call. If you look at what's happened to him over the last little while, I think he's realized that he's got to now get some players who have experience. I mean, he was exposed badly against United with inexperienced defenders. That's a lot of errors. And somebody like Per Mertesacco, 80-odd caps for Germany. He's tall. He's a physical player. I think he's going to take to the Premier League like a duck to water. You don't think um, they missed out on Gary Cahill? Gary Cahill would have been a great buy and for Spurs them. Spurs also missed out on Gary Cahill they as well. They would have wanted him as well but um, considering what they could have done I think they did well I think Mikel Arteta is a, a good player for them I think he'll fit in quite nicely 
Um, Mertesacker is good. They signed another defender in Andres Santos, the Brazilian. Um, they've got the uh, the South Korean guy as well. It's at, um, Park, Park Ji Young, cousin um, of Park Ji Sung. So you know they've made some good signings. I heard talk that they were linked with uh, Kaká. He was one of the names that they mentioned. I think that would have been a great buy for them. You know, sort of creative midfielder that they may be lacking at the moment. You know, they've gotten our tattoos. He's, he's good and he's never really going to set you know the league on fire but he's a solid player and I think they need somebody having lost Fabregas and having lost Nasri who are more creative players. Plenty of numbers 478 million 195,000 on signings this year compared to 345 625,000 in previous years. We'll leave you with that thought Manchester City spending the most Manchester United having done business a while ago it'll be interesting to see how these signings affect the sides that they've gone to, of course. Yeah, absolutely. So lots to watch out for for the rest of the season. We'll be back again next week looking at the Rugby World Cup. Ben will be joining us more in spirit than anything else today, but he'll be back. This and uh, remember to uh, click the like button on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, make sure you stay in touch, get in touch, have a chat to us. We'd love to hear what you think, and uh, we'll catch you all again next week. Thank you, guys.